for the first time in a generation, the House of Representatives passed two historic bills, H.R. 6, the Dream and Promise Act, and H.R. 1603, the Farm Workforce Modernization Act, both of which could lead to the legalization of many immigrants in the U.S. Theresa Cardinal Brown said that the H.R. 6 Act would provide conditional permanent resident status for more than 3 million Dreamers for 10 years. To adjust from this conditional status to a permanent green card, they must complete their education or be employed. H.R. 1603 will provide a pathway to a green card and the ability to apply for citizenship to farm workers who meet certain work requirements. Lady Rangel said that out of the nation's 2.4 million farm workers, roughly half are undocumented and a path to immigration is critically important for them as they provide the nation's food supply and agriculture. Patrice Lawrence said that most people that TPS, Temporary Protected Status, benefits are people of color, mainly blacks. Therefore, to deliver any sort of racial justice, TPS, which is a part of the HR6 Act, needs to be passed. And Brent Renison talked about children who came here legally. A a lot of them from India and are aging out of the family immigration programs due to the lengthy immigration processing times, who are now advocating to be a part of DACA. Joseph Vieja finally added that the Democrats and Republicans can work together should they want to, to pass these very important immigration acts to provide equality and relief to millions of people who need and deserve it.